We're, we're delighted with the result. Um, ultimately, that would have been three points if it was the league. But I think um, you know, there's areas we still need to improve on. We weren't particularly happy at half-time with the players' performance. We felt like we could give much more in terms of forward runs. And we probably hadn't tested the West Brom keeper enough. But I think to know that we've kind of underperformed, probably one of our weaker performances of the pre-season, but still actually scoring three goals against the team in our league and keeping a clean sheet is, is something we're happy with, yeah. Bridget, congratulations, a 3-0 win, your first goal at St James's Park for Newcastle. Must be a dream come true. Yeah, honestly, um, to score, everyone was messaging us this morning, Ho uh, best of luck for your game today, hope you score, and I was just hoping myself, Bridget, please get a goal. Um, so it was amazing, it's an unreal experience, until you experience it, you actually know what it feels like. I think we've, we've had kind of um, a mixture of tests, we played Milton Keynes who were a team in tier 3 but the Southern Division, um, so that gave us an idea and it was a long trip down there with the broken bus as well, so um, yeah that was a good test and then we played Norton who were a team in our league last season who very much part the bus and make it tough for, for us and we had to grind that out to make sure we won the game 1-0. Then we went up to Hibs and they're a team in the top Scottish division. So again, that was a fantastic test to play against, you know, a full time team who, you know, had some really good players and we did fantastically to win the game two one. And then today that's it, just that's our league, that's how the teams we're gonna play against. And and West Brom were a team we lost to last pre season, so it shows how far we've come. Um but yeah, there's still a lot of room to improvement. If lots, lots of room for improvement if we're going to make sure we're competing with the likes of Burnley, Nottingham Forest, and Wolves at the top of that league. What was those moments like when you were coming out of the tunnel and you could see fans and you could just see the atmosphere building and just maybe getting that first couple of touches? Do you feel like a proper Newcastle United player when you have those moments? Yeah, like on, when you're walking out through the tunnel and then you step up on the pitch and you see everyone. I was amazed at how many fans actually stayed after the men's game. It was great to see the support from the fans. Um, and then when the music's blasting, like you can't hear everything, um, but you just focus straight away and your mind's just set on football. Um, you just forget about the crowd around you and everything that's going on, but when you score, you hear that cheer, it's amazing. I think the girls have settled in really well. They're, they're, great, they're great people as well as great players. Um, I think everybody's commented on actually how well they've settled in and how they've probably had a robust character check from me before they actually came in, so that doesn't surprise me in terms of how great they all they've all done so far. But we went away for, you know, on a camp to Leicester and actually spent a lot of time together and um, went go karting and other stuff to get that team bonding and team spirit high. So they fitted in fantastically and I thought some of them really shone today. For all of them, it's still such an experience to play at St James's, so there was definitely quite a few nerves at the start. Um, but as the game grew on, you could see the likes of some of the players, like Sir Bridget, Alicia, started to show what they're about and they perform well. Winning is becoming a habit for Newcastle United men's and women's team, of course. What did Becky say before the game? And obviously, because I know friendlies are, diff are different because you want to get the obviously the minutes in the legs and get ready for the season beginning. Uh, obviously, in a couple of weeks' time. What, what was the message from the coach and staff? So um, we've just said. I know it's a friendly, but we're going out there to win it. That's a mentality we've got with every game, um, and that's what we've got to have going forward into the season. The league that we're going into, we can't afford to win, uh, to lose a game. So she said, we've got to go out there and win it. Um, she said, take it in, play with confidence, um, enjoy the experience. So that's exactly what we've just done. <laughs> When the men's team went to America, we actually spent two weeks at the men's training ground, which was fantastic. And, and now we're full time over on another, over at another site. It's just been great to spend that contact time with the players. The girls can rest and recover. Um, you know, last season they were working full time jobs and then coming to train on an evening. They're very much, you know, they're in early, they do the sessions, they do some gym, they do video analysis with us, and there's time for one to ones and more development with the girls. But then they're away and, you know, they can spend their evening doing what they want and resting and recovering and enjoying themselves instead of working the second they woke up to the second they went to bed. So it's just such a nice environment and it's a real joy to come to work to coach them and I'm sure it's a joy for them to come and play football every day. Obviously you did have a goal disallowed in the second half, we're not going to talk about the lines, <laughs> where the lines, when the lines were in the referees because we'll be here all night but what it is nice to say is that you're striving to get so many goals. Do you put target on yourself or is it team before player and personal targets? Well personally like always set yourself a target. Obviously the team goal is to win a game. My personal goals always to get a goal every game. So 
last targets? I think our ambitions are back-to-back -back promotion. Um, I think others listening in might think we're quite naive with that because it's our first time in Tier 3 in a long, a long time. Um, but the players we've brought in, the staff we've brought in, I've brought Andy in to work with me. Um, that's just given us all a massive boost and there's absolutely no reason why we can't win this league this season. So that will be our ambition. Um, we'll go for it every single game to get those three points and I don't see why we can't achieve it. And just a little bit about the move as well. How how easy has it been to get yourself integrated with the rest of the team? Obviously, there's eight new signings and obviously the team seems to be a lot different for people that have been watching Newcastle for the last couple of years. Has it been a natural process to be so you know, relaxed and welcomed into this new setup? Yeah, obviously signing new players into the squad, um, but everyone's just settled in straight away. We had pre-season camp early on um, and it was brought off straight away for five days. Um, I think that just integrated everyone dead quickly. Um, everyone got to know each other. We had team bonding activities, training every day. Um, know each other on a personal level as well as on the pitch. And I think that just cemented um, the foundations for everyone. And then as soon as we got back, obviously transitioned to full time. Um, I think everything in the environment's just all rolling at the minute. Um, so everything's going so well. It's a great atmosphere to be a part of. Just tactically, we've seen that you went with a three at the back. Why was that? I think we just want to get our best players on the pitch and actually we've got some really good players who play in the middle of the park so actually the more players we can get centrally the better. Um, you know we've got some excellent wide players and um, I think you know we can either have Casey, we can have Tyler, we can have Anna, we've got Erin, we've got absolute versatility in those wide areas and again that, that shape and that kind of change in shape today will, will only kind of um, bring that to life. So, yeah, we're, we're versatile. We've played with the back four, we've played as a back three, we've played with six in the middle, we've played with four in the middle, we've played with two up top in this pre season. So, we're very excited to explore different options. But, yeah, the three at the back today did well. Is that something that you think you'll start the first game of the season without giving too much away? Just because, again, you get so much more, maybe in terms of attacking wise, because we saw so many attacking threats, particularly in the second half. And yeah. you, obviously, you seem to like spread the game so far out as well, with obviously, um, obviously the fact that it's almost the the wing backs are just there to have as much space and as much time as they like. Yeah, I think it's like we get also caught up on formations and systems, but actually it's just about rotation. So at times you'll have seen our centre mids become a back four and then you'll have seen us be a back three and then you'll see our tens really high. So we're just really excited when we're playing that to make sure there's lots of movement off the ball. We want you to pass, we want you to move, we want to make forward runs. Those runs dictate the pass. So. I think we'll be quite fluid with that in terms of how we play, but yeah, not to give too much away, we've, we've been quite dynamic with what we've done so far, but yeah, I thought the girls did well as a three today. And just finally, the fans, obviously you are a fan and now you're playing for your hometown club essentially and you can see how many fans have been obviously supporting the club today and of course at Kingston Park. I bet you can't wait for two a uh, couple of weeks' time when that first game at Kingston Park. I bet you can't wait to see all those fans because it just keeps growing and growing and growing and it must be such a a massive buzz and a motivational factor going into this new season. Yeah, definitely. Fans are always um, 12th player, aren't they? So having the fans back on us is great. Um, it'll be great to see as many as they can get along with all our games home and away because um, their support will help us win the league this year. Perfect. Thanks very much. That must be such a reassuring thing going into the start of the season because there were so many goals scored last season. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you've brought so many players in this season mm -hmm. and nothing seems to have changed in terms of that side of things. Yeah, absolutely. We want to score as many goals as we can. We want to excite fans at half time. I wasn't really excited with the performance. You know, if I was a fan watching, I'd want to see us making more aggressive runs in behind. I'd want us to see us running into the final third and, and having shots on goal, which we weren't doing enough in the first half. So, yeah, definitely we've got as Bridget as that threat as a number nine now. We've got Becky Ferguson, who just turned 18 yesterday, who, you know, it was a fantastic finish where she just passed it into the bottom corner. And, yeah, I think goals will come this season and um, it's massively something we've prided ourselves in the last two seasons is scoring goals and we want to excite the fans who come and watch. So, yeah, we just want everyone to come out and support us at Kingston Park on August the 20th against Halifax. And just a final one for me. Obviously, you mentioned Andy's now part of the team as well. Why was he the person that you would like in terms of being that extra person, if you like, to go, these are the ideas that I want you to bring in and maybe just... What sort of relationship do you, do you have together in terms of that, you know, manager, assistant manager? Is it something that you're used to? 
Yeah, so Andy I've known a lot of years. I've known him probably 15 years now, so there's that massive element of trust there for me. Um, he brings such an energy and such a presence and such a character to the group, which all players and staff have absolutely loved so far, which is fantastic. Um, he's also got excellent football knowledge. You know, he was at Nottingham Forest last season and they won the league, so he knows what all, what that's all about and, and that's what we want to win. Ultimately, the question when we recruit people is how are you going to help us win? And if you haven't got an answer for it, then... We probably don't want to work with you. We want people that are going to improve everything we're doing. We want someone that's going to match my energy. And um, Andy's very determined, he's very passionate, and he, he'll be a fantastic coach to have in, in the team. Well done again. Thank you. Right. Cheers.